Hey everyone, welcome back to Terramator Gardens. Today we're taking a closer look at Great Blue Lobelia, known scientifically as Lobelia syphilitica. This striking native plant brings vibrant blue color to late summer gardens, and it's a must-have for anyone looking to support pollinators. Great Blue Lobelia is a perennial herb native to North America, specifically found in the eastern and central regions. It thrives in moist, low-lying areas like stream banks, wetlands, and wet meadows. The plant has a long history of use among Native American tribes, who utilized it for medicinal purposes, particularly in the treatment of syphilis. Hence its species name, Syphilitica. The name Lobelia honors the Flemish botanist Matthias de Labelle, who was one of the first to study and classify this genus in the 16th century. In the 18th and 19th centuries, European settlers in North America adopted the plant for medicinal uses, although its effectiveness in treating syphilis was later debunked. Despite its somewhat misleading historical uses, Great Blue Lobelia remains a beloved plant for its ornamental value and ecological benefits. Great Blue Lobelia is a robust, clump-forming perennial that typically grows to two to three feet tall. The plant is easily recognized by its tall spikes of tubular, two-lipped flowers that range from deep blue to violet. These flower spikes bloom from late summer into early fall, providing a burst of color when many other garden plants have finished their show. The leaves of the Great Blue Lobelia are lance-shaped, tooth alternate along the stem growing up to five inches long the stems are sturdy and slightly hairy supporting the weight of the numerous flowers that attract bees butterflies and hummingbirds one of the plant's most striking features is its intense blue color which is relatively rare in the plant world great blue lobelia thrives in moist rich soils with organic content it prefers full sun to partial shade although in hotter climates some afternoon shade can help protect the plant from intense heat this lobelia is particularly well suited to areas that mimic its native habitat. Think along streams, ponds, or in rain gardens where soil moisture is consistently high. The plant is hardy in USDA zones 4 through 9, making it adaptable to a wide range of climates. Once established, it requires little care, although regular watering during dry periods is essential to maintain its vigor and flowering. To plant great blue lobelia, ensure that the soil is well drained but retains moisture. Amend the soil with compost if necessary to increase its fertility and moisture holding capacity. Space plants about 12 to 18 inches apart as they will form dense clumps over time. Fertilization is generally not needed as the plant thrives in nutrient rich soil. Deadheading spent flowers can encourage a longer blooming period, but it's not strictly necessary. The plant can self seed in favorable conditions, often creating new clumps nearby. Consider planting it alongside swamp milkweed, cardinal flower, or joe pie weed. These plants not only complement the blue hues of the lobelia, but also extend the blooming season and provide a rich habitat for pollinators. In shaded or partially shaded areas, great blue lobelia can be paired with ferns or hoistas, which enjoy the same moisture levels and provide contrasting foliage. Beyond its visual appeal, great blue lobelia is a powerhouse for supporting wildlife. Its flowers are valuable nectar source for hummingbirds, bees, and butterflies, while the dense foliage provides shelter for small garden creatures plant can also be used in naturalistic or prairie style plantings where its ability to self-seed and form colonies make it a low maintenance choice for filling in large areas. Whether used in formal garden settings or wild naturalized areas, great blue lobelia brings both beauty and ecological value to the landscape. That's all for today's spotlight on the great blue lobelia. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe for more plant profiles. See you next time for another deep dive into the world of plants.